Long before Taylor Sheridan's Yellowstone was the ruling neo-Western drama that swept the hearts of audiences nationwide, there was another long-running series that held the title. While not your traditional Western, more like a Midwestern, Little House on the Prairie certainly appealed to rural audiences similarly to how Yellowstone does now, albeit with a family values mindset rather than the political hoobla. The Paramount series suggests, while certain Yellowstone projects were initially written more like a novel, Little House was actually based on a series of them, written by Laura Ingalls Wilder, which helped secure its long-running popularity. But aside from the rural connection, where do these shows intersect? In season three of Yellowstone, there were plenty of changes that shook up the series, one of them being the introduction of the new ranch hand Teeter. Played by Jen Landon, Teeter was introduced in the episode Freight Trains and Monsters and quickly became a recurring character on the show. By season five, Landon was promoted to a series regular, and Teeter has been with us ever since. Known for her Texan accent and hard-broiled attitude, Teeter has grown on audiences and developed into more than just a Southern caricature over her time on the show. If the surname, Landon, sounds familiar, then you're probably connecting some dots. Yes, Yellowstone's Jen Landon is the daughter of Little House on the Prairie's Michael Landon. The older Landon not only starred as Charles Pa Ingalls on the hit series, which ran for nine seasons and three post-series made-for-TV specials, but also executive produced the series. Additionally, Landon was one of the show's most prolific writers and directors, having directed some of the most important episodes of the series as well as the original pilot film and the post-series special Little House, Last Farewell, which saw the destruction of the town. I in season three of Yellowstone, there were plenty of changes that shook up the series, one of them being the introduction of the new ranch hand Teeter. Played by Jen Landon, Teeter was introduced in the episode Freight Trains and Monsters and quickly became a recurring character on the show. By season five, Landon was promoted to a series regular, and Teeter has been with us ever since. Known for her Texan accent and hard-broiled attitude, Teeter has grown on audiences and developed into more than just a Southern caricature over her time on the show. If the surname, Landon, sounds familiar, then you're probably connecting some dots. Yes, Yellowstone's Jen Landon is the daughter of Little House on the Prairie's Michael Landon. The older Landon not only starred as Charles Pa Ingalls on the hit series, which ran for nine seasons and three post-series made-for-TV specials, but also executive produced the series. Additionally, Landon was one of the show's most prolific writers and directors, having directed some of the most important episodes of the series as well as the original pilot film and the post-series special Little House, Last Farewell, which saw the destruction of the town. Unlike some of her siblings, Jen Landon didn't ever appear on Little House. The actress wouldn't officially begin her acting career until the 21st century, and since the long-running series went off the air in the early 80s, she never had the chance. Though, she did appear in one of the final episodes of her father's next series following Little House, Highway to Heaven, where she played a little girl. Uncredited for this role, her next appearance with her father was in the made-for-TV movie Us meant to be the pilot for Michael Landon's next series. Sadly, the series was never made as Landon died of pancreatic cancer in 1991. Of course, Michael Landon's history with the Western genre precedes even Little House. When first starting out in the entertainment business, Landon made a living playing Little Joe Cartwright on Bonanza, which is still considered one of the greatest television westerns of all time. Landon was on Bonanza for over a decade appearing in 430 episodes of the long-running Western series. Immediately following his time on Bonanza, Landon directed and starred in Little House, which aired for nearly a decade. I in his time on Little House, Landon became a household name. The series' commitment to family values, simple living, and its overall feel-good attitude was a marker of its success, and is why the series still appears regularly on reruns today. But following the three Little House made-for-TV follow-ups, Landon shifted from the Western genre to something more spiritual set in modern day. Well, modern for the 80s. Reuniting with his Little House co-star Victor French, Landon created his next series titled Highway to Heaven where he played Jonathan Smith, an angel sent to help ordinary people in need. The series was a far cry from what we were used to with Little House on the Prairie.